Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, myself Percy Pollan from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to learn about the ant colony optimization. So what is ACO? That is ant colony optimization. We all have seen ants in our day to day lives, right? And we know how they function, the way they hunt for food and everything, right? So this process, this ant colony optimization is nothing but mimicking the real life ant into artificial ants to give the optimal output. So they have by a biologically inspired approach for finding the shortest path that mimics how ants use pheromone trials to mark and reinforce optimal routes between their nest and food leading to the discovery of efficient solutions over time. This algorithm was developed by Marco Doring in his PhD thesis in the year 1992. So why was this ACO developed? Let's say for example, we have a courier company in India and there are multiple cities that this particular company has to drop their parcels to. So let's say for example, the number of parcels to be delivered are 40. So to save time, we need to find the shortest and the fastest route to deliver all these parcels, right? So the number of possible routes connecting all these 40 cities will be 815 quarter decillion possibilities, which is nothing but the sum of 8 followed by 47 zeros, which is 8 into 10 to the power 47. So the ACO algorithm is used to find the optimal solution in this because the human brain cannot function with such decimal numbers. That's when the ACO comes in play and helps us to find the optimal solution for the particular problem. So the biology behind ACO. Basically ants are blind and every ant has some liquid in their body which is called as pheromone. This pheromone is nothing but it is related to hormones in the human body. We use the language to communicate between each other whereas the ants use pheromone to communicate with one another. They produce the pheromone when they go to find the food and the pheromone lies in the path where they go. So the other ants follow that path where the pheromone production is done and find the food. Ants secrete one type of pheromone when they go in search of food. Stigmergy. So stigmergy is nothing but it is the indirect connection via intersection with the environment. Ants have highly developed sophisticated sign based stigmergy. They communicate using pheromones. They lay trials of pheromones that can be followed by other ants. So now let's see how actually this ant colony works. So initially we have the colony here and the food and we have two paths laid to reach to the food. So ants are in their nest and there is no pheromone content in the environment. In the next stage we have two ants each with the same possibility of going in the either paths to find the food. So as we can see now in this diagram, we see that this is the shortest path and the other path is the longest. So obviously the path which is shorter takes the ant to the food sooner. So the ant from the shorter path will return to its nest efficiently. So since it returns faster than the other ant, it takes back the rest of the ants to get food in the same path. So the density of pheromone is higher on the shorter path and the rest of the ants start to follow the shorter path as it is more easy and efficient. So over many iterations going on and on in the loop, more ants begin to use the path with the higher pheromone, thereby further reinforcing it. And after some time, the shorter path is exclusively used up by the ants. So likewise, in the same way, artificially while finding the solution also, the shortest path will be given more importance and the optimal solution will be gained from the shortest path. Now we have the characteristics of pheromone. Pheromone evaporates as time goes on. It grows in density in ant travel repeatedly in same path. After finding the minimum distance path, the pheromone in the other trial evaporates completely. So why does this pheromone evaporate? It evaporates because it should not confuse the other ants. Because in one path as they travel towards the food source, that food source would be emptied up in a particular point. So when the ant goes to the next food point, the pheromone production must direct to the other food point and not the previous one. 
Hence, the first one initially over time evaporates. This is the algorithm design and the formula we have is the probability of selecting a path which is the shortest path can be found using this particular formula. So here we have pi is equal to ri by r1 plus r2 where i can be 1, 2, 3 or any other integers. So the vertices according to our consideration are vs which is the source vertex and colony and vd which is the destination vertex that is the food source. The two edges are denoted as E1 and E2 and lengths as L1 and L2 which are assigned to each other. Now the associated pheromone values which indicates the strength of the pheromone can be assumed to be R1 and R2 for the vertices E1 and E2 respectively. So we have the procedure of the ant colony system algorithm. So first we begin that is uh, where we create the artificial ants and we initialize the process. When we initialize all the ants will be present in their colony waiting to hunt for the food. So then we install a while loop where the stopping criterion are given in that particular loop and when it is not satisfied the position of each ant will be in the starting node and the process will be repeated. So for each ant to the condition choose next node by applying the state transition rule. So all the steps in each and every steps the pheromone has to be updated. So apply step by step pheromone update and then after updating the pheromone we are ending the while condition until every ant has built a solution. So after we update the best solution and the offline pheromone update is taking place before ending the while loop. So once we obtain each and every single solution, we update everything in the process to obtain the final uh, solution which is optimal for the complex problem. I hope you learnt something from this uh, particular algorithm with reference to the day-to-day -day, uh, experience of what we see in ANS. Hope to learn a lot in the upcoming lecture videos. Thank you.